an easy, free, beginner-friendly live stream software for YouTube that works on PC, Mac, your phone, doesn't require any heavy downloads, and no complicated tech? Sign me up. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to show you how to go live on YouTube in five simple steps. So are you ready? Hey, Go-Getter, it's Salma Jafri. I'm the founder of YouTube Launchpad, the step-by-step -step course to take to start and grow your YouTube channel. I'll put a link down to the course in the description below. Be sure to check it out. If you want to grow your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube, then subscribe to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's begin. Now, if you are looking for the fastest way to go live on YouTube or Facebook, then this is the video to watch because I'm going to show you the easiest live streaming setup that you can get started with in just five clicks. So let's go. Okay, so let me tell you all of the different types of software that I have tried to go live with on YouTube and on Facebook and the difficulties that I faced and how I finally arrived at this particular software that I'm going to talk about in this video. So the first thing that I tried was OBS. Now, OBS is great because it's free and it's open source, but the problem for me with OBS was that it was extremely system heavy for my little MacBook Air here, right? And what happened was that the learning curve is pretty steep steep for learning. There's all these complicated buttons and things, and it takes a while to get the hang of it. So it was glitchy for me because my audio and video wasn't syncing properly because it was using up so much system resources that I didn't have. I had to learn encoders. I had to do tech setup and it was complicated, free, but complicated. The next thing that I tried was going live on YouTube with Zoom. Now, because I already had a paid account with Zoom, it was kind of easy for me to do that. But if you don't have have a paid account with Zoom, then you actually cannot go live on YouTube or Facebook with Zoom. So that is the first hurdle. The second hurdle is that you still do have to do encoder setups. So you do have to go into the back end of YouTube Live and figure out, um, you know, all the encoders and where to put in all the links and everything. And the other thing for me was that even while on a paid plan, you still have the Zoom logo appearing on your live stream. So you actually can get rid of that. Um, so I, you know, I was like, okay, both those setups had their pros and cons. But when I finally found today's setup that I want to talk to you about, it's called Melon and it is an extremely easy to use live streaming software and it works so, so well. And there's no complicated tech. You don't have to mess around with encoders and all of the functionality is just so super easy. In fact, you can go live in five simple clicks. So let's head on over to the computer and let me show you exactly how Melon works. So the first thing you need to know about Melon, you want to go to melonapp.com. And the first thing is that it is a web-based live streaming studio. That means you don't actually download anything to your computer. Everything is done on the cloud, on the web. So that's the first thing I love about it. Let's go and log in. So I'm going to go over here and that's the first step. You want to put in your email address and you'll get a verification code via email. So right now I'm logging in with an account for absolutely free. So you'll see the difference between the free features and what happens when you upgrade to pro features. Okay, then you verify your code and then you are in. So this is what you see inside as you log into Melon. Okay, so when you log in for the first time, it will prompt you to configure your audio and your video settings. And when you're inside, you can actually go here and do that as well. So you wanna click on this audio button and figure out what your audio input is going to be, right? So connect your mic and then go over here and figure out what your video input is going to be. So for the time being, I'm just going to choose the FaceTime camera. I would connect my um, Canon M50 if I was actually going to be doing a live stream right now. And then you can also choose your resolution. But for now, let's just leave everything as standard. Okay. Now, the third thing you want to do is put yourself on screen. So you can see that you are here and it says click on yourself to add video to the stream. So all I do is this. And now I am on screen, right? The next simple step that you need to do is click on the go live button over here. And as soon as you do that, it's going to ask you which platform do you actually want to stream to? So it does support multiple platforms on the pro plan, but on the free plan, you can start with YouTube or Facebook, whichever one you want to start with or LinkedIn in this case. And there are a few others here down as well. Okay, so let's say I want to start with YouTube. So I'm going to link my account. 
All right, perfect. So now you can see that the destination has been added means I can now go live on YouTube, right? So for the purposes of testing it out, what I'll do is I will change this from public to unlisted or actually even to private because I don't actually want to go live on YouTube right now and then click this. And now I have my account set up going to, to go live on YouTube and that's all it took. So I'm going to click next. And it says put in a title and description. So let's just put in test and test for now and click the pink go live button to start the stream. Okay, so now it's it gave me a little bit of a countdown timer and said going live in three, two, one, and now I am live on YouTube. Now, actually, I can go and check the fact that I'm live on YouTube. So I will simply go over here um share the stream copy the stream link let's put it in another window here and i should be live on my youtube channel right now <laughs> and there we go it's gonna take a second to um make me load here and it says uh started streaming less than one minute ago and there is a slight delay you can see that and um, i'm going to just make sure that the quality is uh, 720p yeah perfect so i'm actually live on youtube right now and so that is all it took just those few simple clicks and you can go live okay when you want to end your live stream then all you do here is click on end stream All right, so now I wanna walk you through some of my favorite features inside Melon, so let's dive in. So one of the first features I wanna show you is the share screen feature. Now you wanna click on your share screen here and it presents you with three options. You can share your entire screen, you can share just an application window that you have open, or you can share a specific Chrome tab. So I'm gonna share a Chrome tab that has my Canva presentation open. So I'm gonna pretend I'm sharing my Canva presentation and here's the presentation and it's says sharing this tab to melon app okay so i'm going to go back here and on the left sidebar this is going to load up and it's going to show here and all i do is click show on stream and now my canva presentation is added to the screen and i think it looks fantastic the way it adds it right next to my face and i can always hide my face if i want to show the entire screen or I can show my face, or I can hide the presentation, or show the presentation. So there are all of these options. And if you wanna make your presentation full screen, which I wanna do, I will just click full screen here, and then go back here, and this will make it full screen. And then I can just simply cycle through my presentation and show all of my slides and so on, and it will show all of that on the live stream. So at this point, I want to um, tell you about one of the challenges, the only real challenge that I faced using Melon. So the only thing that I faced was that when I was sharing my presentation, I had to be in this screen sharing my presentation and moving forward. So I can't actually see the Melon screen, can't actually see the comments coming in, can't see the chat, can't see the functionality of that particular screen. So that was the only real uh, challenge. Other than that, everything was working really amazingly. So the next feature that I want to talk about is the schedule feature. So the schedule feature was really good for me because I used Melon um, to live stream on YouTube and I like to schedule out all my streams so that I can actually promote them and this was for a live challenge that I did on my YouTube channel so you just simply want to go to schedule and then add whatever time you're actually going to be going live and in this case I will choose YouTube and let's make this private and um, you just want to say next stream and then you just want to add in your date and time title description and upload a thumbnail so that is how you can schedule a stream on youtube or whatever platform that you're going live on the third feature which i absolutely love and this might be my favorite feature of melon is the chat feature okay so i want to click on start chat here and then you'll see all of the comments coming in once you go live. So let me show you from my live stream earlier that I did. You can actually pick out comments and show them on screen. So let's make this full screen so I can show this to you better. And so this is one of the live streams that I did on my YouTube channel using Melon a few weeks ago. And if I click this, 
uh, I have the audio muted here because I just want to show you this this feature where I'm pulling up comments from uh, the people on my live stream that are coming up and I'm just pulling these comments up and talking about um, featuring people and showing. So this is a great way to add interactivity to your live streams and it's a great way to make people feel like you are noticing them, you are talking about them, you are sharing whatever that is it is that they have shared in the chat. So I absolutely love this feature. It looks super, super professional. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is how to configure your stream. So you wanna go here into where it says edit screen, and these are all the settings that you can configure. So if you're on the pro plan, you can actually add in your own logo here. So you can just click logo and add in whatever logo, um, like so you can upload your image. OK, or you can just not have a logo there. So that's one of the things that you can do. And then the other thing you can do is add a banner. So you can see that I've added a banner called the love video challenge here because that's what I was using for the hashtag for that challenge. So you can add in whatever you want and you can configure this and say, um, let's say start a YouTube channel <laughs> or whatever. Um, forgot how to spell channel. Okay, and you can also configure the font, the banner background, the banner colors. Okay, the next thing you can do is add in a ticker. Now this is great for offers and things that you want people to know. So I would just simply go here and say, join the Video Confidence Club, which is what this live stream was about. Um, add the member founder member pricing, link is in the description. So it's a great way to put in your offers, put in incentives, put in things for people to do next. And um, I love this ticker option. Okay, the next thing we wanna see here is the background. So you can actually choose a background from here or upload your own background. So I could change this background to whatever I wanted and I could also upload my own background here. So that's another thing that you can do. Let's uh, minimize this. And the last one is configure your video. So you can actually add a starter video, uh, first 30 seconds countdown video to when you start your live stream. Again, that sets up anticipation and allows people to come in and join in for the first 30 seconds and tells them that the live stream is starting. And you could also upload your own over here as well. Okay, so now let's go into the general settings and you can obviously change your name here. You can change uh, the HD quality. And also I'm gonna show you this Ninja feature coming up in just a second. You can record your videos, but hang on. You can also um, include guests. So actually let's go here and uh, see how we can invite guests. So inviting guests to your live stream is super simple. It's one click. You just simply go over here to where it says invite guests, and then you can either copy this link and just send it to your guest, or you can email it or messenger it right from the application itself. And then your guests have the option to turn on their audio, video, join the live stream, share their screen, all of the functionality that you have as well. So I think that is another really fantastic feature to use. Okay, so now that I have told you about some of my favorite features, let's discuss what is in the free plan and what do you get in the pro plan. And also there is a way for you to get some of the features features in the pro plan. And after that, I'm going to tell you the ninja secret thing that I absolutely love this software for. So that's coming up as well. Still lots and lots of good information to come inside. Before we go any further, I want to announce this week's viewer of the week. And the viewer of the week is Mad Mike Sports. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. If you would like to be featured as viewer of the week, make sure you leave a valuable comment on this video about how my content has helped your YouTube journey. And now back to our video. Okay, so Melon has a free plan and a pro plan. And what you get on the free plan is that you can stream on one streaming software, so one platform. You can invite one guest to your live stream and there is limited brand customization so you can add your own logo and you can't really remove the watermark. If you switch to the pro plan, which is $15 a month, you can get all of these things going, multiple streaming, multiple guests and brand customization. However, if you actually choose to buy on the annual plan, it's only 12 point five a month. So some savings are happening over there as well. Okay, well, let me show you another way that you can get access to the pro features for free. So you wanna go over here into settings and then inside settings, go to referrals and inside referrals, you'll see that if you invite your friends to Melon, they will get pro features for seven days and you will get pro features for two days when they sign up 
five days when they do their first stream and 30 days when they upgrade to pro. So that is a great way to access the pro features and kind of trial them and use them by inviting other people. Okay, so now I wanna show you the Ninja feature, which is that you can actually use Melon not just to go live, but record your screen and your face at the same time. So if you just wanna make a recording, let's say for a course, or you just wanna record a video with all of this professionality, then all you have to do is go inside Melon, log in, go and click on go live, and in here choose record only. So when you choose this option and you put in whatever title and you just click start recording, it's going to just record whatever it is that you're doing. And I'll show you that when I actually went live, I saved all of my recorded live videos. So I have all of these here that I did the the five day challenge that I did and I can just simply go and download these videos or view them. So I think that that is an that is a great extra feature and functionality. So even if you don't wanna use it as a live streaming software, you can still use it as a screen recording software. Fantastic. Okay, now just a quick caveat. Remember that in order to go live on YouTube on your phone, you need a thousand subscribers. But if you use Melon and go live through your desktop, that restriction doesn't exist anymore. So you can have any number of subscribers under 1,000, over 100,000, whatever, and you can still go live on YouTube using Melon and using your desktop to do so. So I think that is fantastic. And so if you're looking for free software, easy to use software, where web-based live streaming platforms and uh, Melon is made by Logitech. So you have a brand name and recognition behind this software and something that makes you look good, makes you look professional on video, then this is the software to try. So I want you to, after this video is ended, I want you to go down in the description and click the link for Melon and go give it a shot today and tell me what you thought. So tell me in the comments below how frequently you live stream or would you like to live stream and what platform do you live stream on? Let me know in the comments below and then go and watch this video next on how to record yourself and your screen at the same time. I'll see you in the next one.